I've been out late night creeping, shot slide on bitches. Posted up with the militia, niggas ain't switching. Mine on missions, mine on pussy and millions, mine on pussy and millions. I'm trying to call a sex symbol to eat my kids up. I know you like to drink to the sun up, grind till you come up. So hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Simone. And before we get into this vlog, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can join the family. So yes, uh, first of all, the sun is in my face because of the way that I parked. But anyway, um, it is currently 1026. Today is Saturday, March 4th. So I'm currently, um, I feel like I got lip gloss. Okay, so yeah, today is Saturday, March 4th. It is currently 1026. Um, I'm sitting outside of Walmart. I'm about to get ready to go in here to just pick up a couple things. Most importantly, I need to pick up a TV mount, TV mount because my dad is gonna come out today and mount one of the TVs um, in the living room. So I need to get that. And then he, I was gonna make breakfast, but I'm not really sure because Y'all, my stomach is hurting so bad. Like, I don't really, I don't feel like shopping around the store. And, yeah, I'm just have to pick them up something because, sorry, my camera's up. So, yeah, I just wanted to say good morning. I hope everybody is having a good weekend. And I can't believe it's already March. Also, I picked the wrong day to wear my hair down because it's windy outside. And I don't know why I did that. I had to stop and get some gas this morning and my hair was like attacking me while I was standing outside and I didn't bring no scrunchies. Oh my god, my face. I've been wanting to get a disposable camera. I don't know why, but I've been wanting to get one of these so bad. I think I'm about to get this. Excuse me. Where would TV mounts be? Oh, they're against the wall right here. Oh, okay. All right, so I need one that can Hold up. That one is fixed. This one is tilting. This, is, this one is tilting. Okay, so I may just be getting this one because this one tilts. How much is this? 25. I wanted a full motion one, but I'm not paying, like. Yeah, I'm not paying $50. So, guess you're just gonna go with this one. MJ thing, I'm talking a Brady thing. I'm off of the juice, never could say go to mix. Rocking the bricks out of twist. Fuck up, you can call me. Acting like Christian's in here, but Christian Dior and they homes. The bigger we get, gotta thank God for this. I got a lot that I give, I be in it, I get like the cruise. My stomach is starting to hurt again. There was um, these guys that are set up outside of Walmart. You know how like they be doing the donations and everything. And it was for a uh, breast, breast cancer foundation. And I made a donation. They act like they ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah, I've never said this on my channel before. I don't think I have, but a few years ago, um, my mom, she was diagnosed with breast cancer but they were able to catch it early and um you know they removed it and everything so of course she still has to do her annual checkups but um yeah so i don't know why i just just felt the need to share that because I passed by that donation thing so she's fine y'all know she still get on my nerves each and every day so um yeah I'm just really glad that they found it when they did it was really scary because 
cancer doesn't run in our family and um you know it was just like it was random so when she told me that i was like i mean of course i cried like i said she's fine now they were able to catch it in the early stages and they got it removed and everything so yeah but um yeah i just want to basically just let y'all know i was at a, at a walmart i don't know why whenever i go in there i just like <laughs> I told y'all it's like a different anxiety like i i can go in any other store and i'm fine but when i go in walmart it's just i don't know it's just gets me flustered so i was just literally like grabbing stuff i couldn't find what i needed i was just like walking back and forth and just yeah so yeah i'm about to get ready to go to kroger I'm just putting these press on nails. So I just have them sitting right here. And um, this is from the brand Impress. Yeah, that's the brand. Um, I put focus. I put two on already, and when I got them, I didn't realize that they had rhinestones. But I actually don't hate the rhinestones. Like it's actually kind of cute. Yeah, so just a cute little French tip. I didn't. I forgot to come back last night because after my dad left from putting up the TV, me and my mom were working in the front yard like laying down yeah i don't care <laughs> but yeah we just did some um some more yard work yesterday um and then after that i after that i just took a shower made me something to eat and then i think i went to bed because i was so tired like i don't know i was just really tired so i'm just about to put these press on nails on i think later today um i have to stop by lowe's because i had to get a new filter for the refrigerator and then I think my mom is going to stop at Bath and Body Works, which I don't need to stop out there. But, you know, we're we going to go anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do that later. And then, um, oh, I also have some stuff that I got from Shein. It just got delivered today. So I was going to do a little mini trial and haul. I just got, like, some skirts and stuff. Um, since the weather is changing, getting warmer. And then I also got these platform sandals. They are so cute. But y'all see that um later whenever i try to stuff on so i just wanted to say hey and just let y'all know oh if i just say today is sunday um my hair looks crazy i have my hair tucked behind my ears because it's still twisted up that's but yeah i just wanted to say hey i hope that y'all are having a great sunday and yeah i'll see y'all whenever we're leaving I started rewatching um, The Hills. I don't know if anybody remembers this show, but I'm sure y'all do. Um, I think this show was out like, for me, I think it was like middle school, maybe freshman year of high school. And I never really watched it, but for whatever reason, I was on Hulu and I scrolled past it and I was like, hmm, maybe I wouldn't watch this. So yeah, I just, <laughs> I've been rewatching it and it's actually been pretty good. It's like a lot of drama of course but i don't know i just been watching it don't judge me mr mr dance dance idiot 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 came out busting came out heaven came out fucking for your cousin i do all these bruises was a then they daddy but you love her you in trouble i'm not saying it i'm gonna bother to a second that's your busy I'm not surprised, I'm on the ride, been a little ride, that is my eyes, spam it a lot, just hold it down, all I require, just hold it down, they gon' shit on you and me on the ground, niggas be hitting with feet on the ground, got the little jet with the beat on the couch, not on the Gucci and beat on the mouth, came out, 
Hey y'all, so today is Saturday. It's March 11th. It's currently 3.38. Yeah, 3.38. So today is actually the following weekend from, you know, like when my dad and my brother was over here. That was last weekend. So it's actually the next weekend. Don't kill me. I just, I didn't close out the vlog. It's just, it's becoming a habit now and I really want to break that because I shouldn't be vlogging two weekends and putting it all together. Like, I want to vlog each weekend and, and upload, you know, for that week and then do it over. But it, it's not working out for me. I don't know if it's just laziness or if it's just, like, I feel like the content is not going to be good. So, I, I kind of let days pass by to build up to make, you know, one whole vlog, if that makes sense. But, yeah, um... So yeah, like I said, today is Saturday. Um, I'm getting ready to straighten my hair, so that's why I look like Diana Ross right now. Um, I'm not gonna do like an actual silk press. I just, I kind of just want to straighten it because I didn't know really what else to do with my hair, and I was tired of it being up in twist. So um, yeah, I'm gonna straighten it, but I'm not doing like a silk press, like. I'm probably just gonna do one pass on each section. Um, so it actually shouldn't take me that long cause I'm not, I don't care for it to be extra, you know, bone straight, silky. So yeah, I'm about to do that. Um, and I still, after I get done, I'm probably going to try on those clothes from Shein. From she um, it's, it's not that many things, just like a couple of items cause I didn't I forgot to do it last weekend um hopefully today either today or tomorrow I wanted to do um like a YouTube short like a get ready with me or like get dressed with me because there were a couple of things like one of the skirts in there from Shein that I got is so cute and then I'm gonna show y'all later but yeah I wanted to do um a get dressed with me and I'm thinking about I don't know if I'm just going to do it for YouTube or if I want to do it for TikTok and YouTube because I do not get on TikTok so it's just like, do I really want to post it on there? I think I will. Um, hopefully it comes out the way I'm envisioning it. When I overthink things and, and then I like actually do it, I look back on it and I hate it so I'm going to try not to overdo it or try not to overthink it. But yeah, let me go ahead and get started on my hair. So last night I watched the movie Megan. <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna be that evil, but she was, you know, she was doing some stuff. I think she was probably worse than Chucky. But um, it was pretty good. If you're not like a really big um, scary movie or like a horror movie person, like I am, I love scary, I look crazy. <laughs> I love scary movies, so. To me, it wasn't scary, but it was still pretty good. Um, I only have my flat iron on three, I think this, 374, um, which is still pretty hot. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the back first because I want it to still have like a little bit of texture. Like I said, I just don't want it to be, I don't care for it to be like extra flat on my head. So I'm not even, usually I would do the chase method, but I'm not going to do that because that's not the look that we're going for. So, yeah, oh, that's what I was going to talk to y'all about. So, yeah, um, the other thing I wanted to mention to y'all is one day I was in Target because where else do I go? And I was in the L, I was getting some, um, some pads like, you know, feminine products. And I just so happened to pass by the menstrual cup. This is the one by Honey Pot. And as you can see, it's still in the package. So I was just, you know, picking up pads. I haven't started my period yet, so I wanted to have this for next time. By the way, any guys that is watching this, if you don't want to stick around for the girl talk, just skip ahead. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, I'm actually really excited to try it. I've heard mixed reviews about it um not not particularly this brand but like there's there's a few other um brands that have menstrual cups i saw that they had the what is the other one called it's like a it has like a clear plastic 
I think that one is disposable. I can't remember what they're called. I'll put a picture on the screen. I think it's called a a menstrual disc or I don't know. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. But yeah, I was trying to decide if I wanted to either do that one or this one right here. But since this one is reusable, I decided to go with this one. And I think it was maybe like 20 it was between like 25 and, and 30 dollars it was no more no more than 30 but i can't remember exactly how much it was i'll put that on the screen too so yeah like i was saying i'm really excited to try this last year i stopped using tampons because i was hearing like a lot of bad things about how they bleach the cotton and tampons and they you know um can make you prone to utis and yeast infections and just like throw off your um, ph balance i stopped using tampons and i just started using pads um now for me like the first actually maybe like the second and third day this those are like my heaviest days so um you know I, I would use a tampon but like I said I just stopped using them um and the pads that I was using they are I think it's by always it's the um the flick the flexible pads those are really good because I used to have a problem with like leaking and like you know messing up my paint my clothes and everything but with those those actually worked pretty good for me so i've been sticking with those for like a good year and then um yeah i found this and yeah so i think my period is coming up in a couple of days because i've been like really moody and angry so um yeah i'm a when i try this i'm gonna let y'all know like how it is my thoughts about it if i like it or not Hopefully I do like it because this thing was not cheap. So yeah, but I'm going to give y'all some updates. If y'all have tried a menstrual cup, um, even if it's from like a different brand, let me know how your experience is. And like, you know, if you have like any tips or tricks or anything. Um, yeah, leave me some, some, the little, <laughs> leave me some comments. Speaking of moody, yesterday i just felt like i was angry and sad at the same time for like no reason it was no reason i was just just very moody and i really hate that my pms like before my cycle comes my pms is really really bad like i don't it's not really like um cramps or anything it's just that my mood is just terrible and I hate it. I hate it for the people around me. Like, my mama, <laughs> she has to deal with it every month. If my boyfriend, well, if I had a boyfriend, <laughs> if my boyfriend ever had to deal with that, I feel bad for him because, girl, I've been wanting to choke somebody, like, for real. I was just being so hard on myself, and I just felt like a failure or something. Like, I, I'm, I just feel like I'm not doing anything in my life. Like, the whole day I just had thoughts going through my head you know what am I doing with my life am I really making a purpose am I doing anything in my life that's meaningful telling myself that I'm not really happy with where I am and just you know just a lot of negative stuff and then I also started thinking about YouTube I want to continue doing YouTube because I feel like I'm really not even going anywhere I'm not making the progress that I want to see and I know that when you start anything like a business, you're not going to see success overnight. I mean, sometimes you do, but it's not, that's not always reality. And I know that on a regular basis, a regular everyday, everyday basis, I know that. But like I said, yesterday was just like... I don't know. I wasn't trying to see anything in a positive way. Like everything was just negative and I was just attacking myself. And I really hate that for me because we should not be hard on ourselves. It just, no. And I text my friend and I told him verbatim, I feel like I'm not doing anything with my life. And so he texted me back. I think I also need to cut my ends, but I don't feel like doing it right now. Anyway. So yeah, I texted him and I said that and he was just saying like, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, think about where you were, think about where you were five years ago and think about how much progress you've made and how far you've come. 
and I had to stop and think like, you know, he's right. And when it comes to YouTube, it's not that I want to be like famous, not thinking I'm, you know, I should be like at a million subscribers right now. It's nothing like that. I just felt like I should be a little bit further than where I am. And that's also because of me. Like, I feel like I could be more consistent with my uploads and my content. So that, you know, it's partly my fault, but then also I just kind of feel like I haven't really had the chance to, I haven't, I don't know, I can't really explain it. Like, I don't know, I, I can't explain it. Maybe, you know, one day, I know that I'm growing and I appreciate the growth every single day. Every one subscriber counts, so, you know, anytime I gain a subscriber, I'm always happy, but it, like I said, it's just yesterday, it was just, I was just thinking a lot, and I was just really in my head, and just letting my thoughts get the best of me, but, um, yeah, I'm really appreciative that he was able to, my friend, he was able to, um, you know, listen to my shenanigans, because it really was just a lot of shenanigans, <laughs> um, yesterday, and, you know, it's really good to have friends and family that will listen to you even when they don't fully agree with what you're saying. It's just good to have somebody to be able to talk to. And I really appreciate him for that. And anybody who, you know, in my life, friends and family, who's there for me when I am down on myself and when I'm having a problem and I'm, you know, just going through it. So... Moral of the story is, whatever you're doing, this is in all aspects of your life. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself grace because everything that, what you're working for, is not going to happen overnight. You're working for it. So, keep putting in the work. Keep putting in the time. Keep putting in the blood, sweat, and tears because there will be some. <laughs> and... Yeah, just push through. You got this. Like, don't don't get in your head. Don't overthink what you're doing. Don't think that you're less than because you're not where you see the next person is. Like, you don't know how hard they work. You don't know if, you know, you don't know what they went through to get to where they are. So, and I'm also telling myself this. Hopefully, I can look back on this. And if, like, if I'm going through the same thing, I can look back on this and slap myself out of whatever I'm thinking. But, yeah. Just keep going. Don't give up. You will get you will meet your goal. And when you look back on your success and where you are at that point, you're going to appreciate the hard times. I sound like somebody's parent. <laughs> but yeah. Um But yeah, so I'm just gonna finish straightening my hair. And once I get done, I'm going to try on that she and stuff that I was supposed to try on like two weeks ago and then yeah I'll see y'all here's the stuff that I got from Shein I got one two three four five so these four are skirts and then I also got I can talk to that these um like these are here these are skirts and then this I think this is a black shirt and then these are some shoes. Basically, pretty much all the skirts that I got are size large. And um, there's actually still a pretty good amount of room in there. Like, it's not tight at all. And then they, it also zips up on the side. Okay. Of course, it will malfunction when I start recording. But anyway, yeah, it zips up on the side. And you can't see it. Like, it's pretty hidden, which I really do like. Um... But yeah, if I wanted to make it short, I think I could probably roll it like this. And it doesn't look too crazy. Yeah, um, I probably wouldn't bend over in this because I don't have time for my butt cheeks to be hanging out. But yeah, I think this is really cute. You can dress this up with heels, um, boots, dress it down with tennis shoes. I kind of like to mix styles. Like, I like to wear casual things with more dressy things i think that's how it's cute to me so i'll probably do this both ways but 
Yeah, this is the first break that I got. And let me move this box out the way. Oop. This okay, so yeah. Really cute. Really fun. Like the, the pleated style skirt is girly, but the colors make it like not too girly. Kind of like grown. If that makes sense. So yeah, so cute. All right, so next skirt is this pretty much the same concept. Um, it's plaid, just a different colorway. So this is more of a like a dark brown and then a tan, and those colors together are really cute to me. So um, oh, and by the way, if I didn't mention the material, this it's like a really good thick material. So these would be perfect for the winter time. And they're not see-through, which is great. It's kind of not wool, but like like a felt material. Um, I'm probably explaining it wrong, but um, yeah, the material is really like the quality is really good. And I think both of these skirts were under fifteen dollars. So yeah, it's really oh okay, that's gonna be a problem. So I'll probably have to wear shorts under these. Why? I don't understand why this is so hard for me to figure out. Like it basically, I'm gonna show y'all how it look when I take it off, but, oh wait, I think I figured it out. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> not how that's supposed to go. Mm, I don't know I haven't figured it out but yeah this is what the skirt looks like up close and I thought this pattern was really cute love the colors because it's like neutral there's like um orange like this reddish color I mean like some different shades of green which is definitely my vibe so I don't know I just thought this skirt was really cute and it's kind of like um like a satin material if y'all can tell but yeah, I just thought this was so cute. I don't have any prints like this in my closet. Yeah, I thought this skirt was really cute. I have to tie it to where it kind of like, like a little leg action on the side, but I can't figure out how to tie it. So, really cute. I don't know if I'm like trying this on, so I'm just gonna show it to you. This was just like a plain black shirt, but it is a square neck. So I don't have any square neck shirts and I feel like square necks are really flattering. Um, yeah, I feel like they're really flattering. And it's just like a black, you know, just all black, basic, like a staple that you need in your closet. And the material is really good. It's really, like a really soft material. It is cotton, I'm pretty sure. And it also has some stretch to it, so yeah and it's long sleeve but it's also a crop so if i wear were to wear this in the summertime maybe like at night i wouldn't be too hot um because it is cropped so yeah so this is the last skirt that i got and see it's like a floral print you know not doing too much i'm not really like a girly like a girly person i don't wear like a lot of girly clothes um so I kind of wanted to try something different, but not too much out of my comfort zone to where I'm just like uncomfortable. Cause I hate being uncomfortable in my clothes. So yeah, I thought this was like a good mix in between. Like it still has like, um, kind of like a ruffled, like a lettuce ruffle at the bottom. Um, but the fact that it's, it's black and white is more like my color range. So it's kind of like a good mix. Forewarning this skirt, has no stretch whatsoever so i got this in a size large which is i mean there's still room in it but i can already tell that this is not a skirt that i can really like walk around in all day because it'll probably like slide up in a bit so oh and then also it has these little strings right here so you can actually draw this up and i thought that was so cute so if i wanted to do like a little you know, like a little high-low situation. Yeah, I thought that was really cute. Um, on the website, I saw that some girls were wearing it like this, but I feel like that's, that's a little, 
I'm kind of risking it all right there. So I will probably have to wear it more to the side, which is still cute. I'm gonna show y'all this skirt. So this is why I couldn't figure this skirt out because it, it just comes like this. And I may have got it in a size too big. I feel like if I would have got it in a medium, then it probably wouldn't have been as much fabric. But yeah, it's pretty much just like a wrap skirt. And I have not figured out how to tie it yet, but I'm figuring it out because this skirt is really cute and I really want to wear this. So yeah. First thing I got were these shoes. So these are like, by the way, I love the fact that they come in these individual duster bags. I feel like she is kind of trying to step up their quality a little bit. Yeah, so I got these. These are so cute to me. They kind of remind me of like the late 90s, maybe early 2000s. Okay, so yeah, this is what the shoes look like. I thought these were so cute. I don't have any shoes like this in my closet. And like I said, they're really light, like they're not heavy whatsoever. They kind of sound heavy, but they're not just cause they're like clunky. They're not heavy. So yeah, I'm about to just hang this stuff up in my closet. So I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Goose Creek, but it's another candle company. And um, y'all, my room, let me turn this light on. My room smells so good. I have it turned around to the back because I don't like the label on here. But um, yeah, this candle is brown sugar cinnamon. And my room literally smells like a carnival. Like it's, I don't, oh, this says brown sugar churros. I don't know what I just said, but <laughs> yeah, my room, it, it smells like a carnival, like fair food in here. Like it smells so good. Today is Sunday, it's currently 1.43. And um, I'm about to get ready to film this TikTok. So I just did a little bit of makeup. I didn't want to do too much because I honestly, I don't like wearing makeup now. I slept with the pan curls, but instead of leaving those um, clips in my head, I found some bobby pins. And that's, yeah, I just slept with my hair like that last night. So I haven't taken it down just yet. And I'm about to get ready to film this TikTok and I'm really like, I'm hoping it comes out good because y'all already know I don't post on TikTok and I think this will be my first like beauty video on TikTok so I really don't want it to be a fail. Like I'm not expecting thousands of views or anything like that but like I want it to come out aesthetically pleasing the way I'm picturing it in my head so Hopefully it comes out good, but um, yeah, so I guess y'all can see like the behind the scenes um, of me filming the TikTok and yeah, I think I'm, well, yeah, I'm posting on TikTok and I'm also do post it on um, YouTube, like a YouTube short. Um, so like I told y'all yesterday, I'm going to kind of do like a get dressed with me. Yeah, hopefully it comes out good. I really have to pee those TMI but yeah um so yeah I just got done doing makeup and I was watching so yeah while I was doing my makeup I was watching McKenna Walker on YouTube um I love her vlogs because they're like an hour and a half long and yeah I just I really like her channel I think for my hair I'm not gonna do too much I just want to do like a, a half up half down um which is like I want it to be like kind of voluminous which is why I really didn't care for my hair to be super straight um you know like have some volume and a little bit of a curl or like a wave to it so yeah i'm about to put my clothes on 
Oh my god, I have to be. Okay. <laughs> I just got done filming my TikTok or YouTube short, wherever I'm gonna put it. Um, I'm hoping I got some pretty good clips. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I hope I did. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm probably just, I have an editing thing all day actually. So I'm probably about to take this makeup off and then change it to some regular clothes and make me something to eat. Cause I'm hungry. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all later. It is currently 8.52. Can you focus? Yeah, 8.52. So yeah, I know my hair looks crazy right now, but I have it like twisted up into a bun and then I have this silk bandana tied around it. Um, instead of using like a scrunchie. Um, this is how I'm going to sleep with my hair for the next couple of weeks just to preserve my um, my straight hair. Usually whenever I do a silk, well, whenever I straighten my hair, I wrap it just to, you know, keep up with the silk press. Yesterday, it wasn't really a silk press. Like I just wanted my hair to be straightened just to do something different. So I don't really care to wrap my hair for the next couple of weeks. So. Yeah, this is how I will be sleeping. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm about to just finish um, transferring this footage over so I can edit it. I haven't even started editing any of the footage, so I highly doubt that this vlog is gonna be edited by tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, hopefully. But yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. You know, I realized I did not go anywhere this weekend. Yeah, I didn't. I did not leave the house this weekend. But honestly, like, I really, that's fine with me. So I really don't care to go nowhere. But anyway, so yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed the footage. Um, hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. As always, if you have not already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can join the family. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for the support. And I will see y'all in the next vlog. So, bye y'all. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I did go ahead and upload, um, the TikTok and the YouTube short so you'll probably see that well you will see that obviously before this vlog so make sure y'all show some love on there too <laughs> but yeah I'll see y'all in the next video bye y'all